It is an honor to be recognized as the 2013 Advanced Placement Small District of the Year. Chelsea is just outside of Boston. We are a gateway community where essentially immigrants have come to this country and so many of them have called Chelsea home. It's a low socioeconomic area. A lot of them have a free and reduced lunch. Neither of my parents uh, went to college. My dad dropped out of high school and my mom just finished high school. So I'm gonna be the first person in my family to actually go to college. Our students um, really have to navigate some challenging situations. And if we don't educate them, um, and they're getting involved with gangs and violence and, and drug activity, um, it, it's going to be a challenging life. Growing up in Chelsea, um, you can get influenced really easily. I know school was a way out, like, for a better life. AP brings to us the rigor, the academic standards. At first, I didn't really know if I wanted to take an AP, but I like that Chelsea didn't just put the smart kids in APs. Our approach has been to try to make advanced placement a possibility for as many students as we can. The workload can be almost like terrifying for them, you know. I felt kind of daunted and like I don't know that I can do that. Students surprise themselves and realize how much they can accomplish. AP gives that first taste of success that says, oh, I can tackle college level courses. This is not so scary. Born in Uganda but he had came to America at the age of five. She is the youngest of six children. I'm the only one in school here. Everyone's looking at me like, you are getting an education in America. You have to show us that you've done something. But I never thought about the future. I never thought about what I wanted to be. I didn't care, you know? AP classes have really like opened my eyes. The way that it teaches me how to like be independent and to work harder. It made me like learn how to depend on myself. After I took AP Bio, um, I felt like a confident boost that I am capable of doing it. It feels good when a teacher puts expectations on you and you're able to meet them. Increasing access was a brave decision, but the cultural piece um, really recognizes that we're in this thing called life together and none of us can succeed by ourselves. Um, we all need support at one point in our life or another. You know, we take on those challenges, um, the extra work, um, it's there, but it's not something that scares us off because we're talking about young people here. And anything that they want, they start to learn, like, if I work at something, I can do it. I want to go back to Uganda when I'm ready to help because I want to be like a doctor. I was able to succeed and show you that everything here turned out good. With support, with encouragement, they're in awe of themselves. They realize at that point that they can compete with the suburbs. They can succeed.